Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make this mason jar candle and the mason jar lamp. They make a pretty home decor or even as a gift for someone. So let's get started. First, we are going to begin with the mason jar lamp. You will need a lampshade, lamp adapter, half white mouth mason jar, seashells, corks, and sand. Begin by pouring your sand into your mason jar. Then you will pour your seashells in there, as many as you'd like. Afterwards, you will screw on the lamp adapter. Once that is on, you will insert your lampshade in first, pushing it all the way in, and then your light bulb will go on top. And you're all ready to go. Next up is the jar filled with corks. You can use corks that you have laying around or you can choose to purchase some at a local craft store. And place your jar adapter on there again and follow the same procedure as before. And there you have it. Next is the mason jar candle. You will need a mason jar, wicks, fragrance and dye, and a cute decor, thermometer, a measuring cup, soy wax, and a glue gun. You will begin by boiling two cups of water in a pan. Afterwards, you will place a ceramic bowl over it filled with the soy wax. I started with two cups of wax and I added my thermometer on there making sure that the temperature stayed at 175. Afterwards, I stirred it to help it mix melt faster. Once that wax was melted, I added two more cups of soy wax and I stirred it all together again. Once it melted completely, I added about two tablespoons of blue color dye and I mixed that as well. Afterwards, I took my bowl off the pan, made sure the temperature reached about 125 and that's when I added my scent. I chose cinnamon and I also added about two tablespoons but it's really up to your personal preference how much you want to add. Next I poured the wax into a cup then poured that into the mason jar. It makes it much easier to pour and it's less messy. This is where my glue gun would have come in handy but I totally forgot to use it but my initial idea was to place hot glue under the wick then adhere it to the bottom of the mason jar but instead I just put the wick in the center of the jar and held it by two sharpies. You have to wait about 24 hours for it to cool. Afterwards cut your wick to your desired length. Then add on your cute little anchor to give it more of a beach vibe. You can also put a hanging lid on your jar so you can take it out with you on those nice summer nights. And as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos. Bye!